Today, we will delve into a topic that is both enlightening and empowering for all you chosen ones out there. We will explore why some people behave erratically when they realize they don't deserve you, and how this relates to the profound teachings of Dolores Cannon. So, make yourselves comfortable and let's get to the heart of things. 1. Recognize your value first. Chosen ones, let's talk about recognizing your worth. You've probably noticed that when you're genuinely kind, thoughtful, and living your truth, some people just can't handle it. Dolores Cannon often spoke about the importance of self-awareness and spiritual awakening. She believed that as you grow in your spiritual journey, your energy becomes more refined and high vibrational. This elevated state can make others, who are not on the same page, feel uncomfortable or even threatened. They might not understand your newfound clarity and purpose, leading to feelings of inadequacy or envy. It's crucial to remember that their discomfort is not a reflection of your value, but rather their inability to match your energy. People often resist what they cannot comprehend or what challenges their current state of being. By recognizing your worth, you empower yourself to stay true to your path without seeking external validation. Embrace your unique qualities and the light you bring into the world. Don't dim your light for anyone. Instead, shine even brighter. Your journey of self-discovery and spiritual growth is a testament to your strength and resilience. Trust that the right people will appreciate and support you for who you truly are and let go of those who can't keep up. Two. Understand why people behave unstable. As the chosen one, you may notice that people often act flaky or unpredictable around you, and it can be baffling. This behavior typically stems from their feeling undeserving of your presence and the positive energy you bring. When you extend kindness and offer your help, it can sometimes trigger a negative reaction. This isn't about you. It's about them. They might feel overwhelmed by the goodness and blessings you provide, which highlights their own insecurities and feelings of inadequacy. Dolores Cannon often spoke about how people who are not aligned with higher vibrational energies can feel threatened or envious. They may not know how to handle the purity and authenticity that you embody. Think of it like this. When you're shining brightly, those who are in darkness might feel exposed and uncomfortable. Their flaky behavior is a defense mechanism to protect their fragile sense of self. This reaction can be likened to the way snakes behave. They may lash out or slither away because your light casts a shadow on their insecurities and unmet potential. They feel envious or threatened by the kindness that they cannot reciprocate, leading to erratic and unstable actions. Recognizing this, can help you understand that their behavior is not a reflection of your worth, but rather a sign of their own internal struggles. So, stay compassionate and patient, but also be discerning. Understand that not everyone is ready to receive what you offer. Focus on maintaining your high vibrations and continuing on your path. Your light will attract those who are ready to grow alongside you and repel those who are not ready to face their own shadows. Three. The Spiritual Journey and the Higher Frequencies Dolores Cannon's work often touched on the concept of higher frequencies and spiritual evolution. As the Chosen One, you are likely operating on a higher frequency, which can be both inspiring and intimidating to those who have not yet reached that level. When you vibrate at a higher frequency, your mere presence can act like a mirror, reflecting areas of growth or stagnation in others. This heightened awareness can be uncomfortable for them, causing them to act out or distance themselves because they feel unworthy or incapable of matching your level of spiritual awareness. Your high frequency serves as a beacon, illuminating the path of spiritual evolution, but not everyone is ready to walk that path. Some may feel overwhelmed by the contrast between your energy and theirs. This disparity can trigger feelings of inadequacy and resistance, leading to behaviors such as avoidance, defensiveness, or even hostility. It's crucial to recognize that these reactions are not about you, but about their own inner conflicts and fears. 
Dolores Cannon emphasized the importance of maintaining your high frequency and continuing your spiritual journey without compromise. Lowering your vibration to make others comfortable does a disservice to both you and them. Instead, focus on nurturing your spiritual growth and staying true to your higher self. By doing so, you not only honor your own journey, but also serve as a living example of what is possible. Remember, your role as a chosen one is not to fix or save others, but to inspire and uplift through your own example. Keep your frequency high, remain compassionate, and trust that those who are ready to join you on this path will do so in their own time. Your unwavering commitment to your spiritual evolution will naturally attract those who are aligned with your energy and ready to grow alongside you. 4. The Spiritual Journey and the Higher Frequencies Dolores Cannon's work often touched on the concept of higher frequencies and spiritual evolution. As the Chosen One, you are likely operating on a higher frequency, which can be intimidating to those who have not yet reached that level. When you vibrate at a higher frequency, your mere presence can highlight areas of growth or stagnation in others. This can cause them to act out or distance themselves because they feel unworthy or incapable of reaching your level of spiritual awareness. It is essential to keep your frequency high and not lower it to accommodate others. Operating on a higher frequency means you are more in tune with your spiritual essence, more connected to universal truths, and more aware of your purpose. This heightened state of being can shine a light on the shadows in others' lives, exposing where they may need to grow or evolve. For some, this revelation is too much to bear, and they might react with jealousy, resentment, or avoidance. It's crucial to remember that these reactions are a reflection of their inner struggles, not a reflection of your worth or actions. Dolores Cannon believed that maintaining a high frequency is part of your spiritual duty. It's about staying true to your journey and not compromising your growth for the comfort of others. Lowering your frequency to make others feel better doesn't help them. Instead, it diminishes your own light and hinders your path. By keeping your frequency high, you continue to evolve and serve as a beacon for those who are ready and willing to elevate their own spiritual awareness. Your unwavering commitment to your higher frequency sets a powerful example. It shows others that it's possible to live a life of higher consciousness and spiritual integrity. Over time, some may be inspired to raise their own frequency to meet yours. In this way, you indirectly guide others on their spiritual paths without sacrificing your own progress. Stay committed to your spiritual practices, whether it's meditation, prayer, or any other form of inner work that helps you maintain your high vibration. Surround yourself with people and environments that support your growth. Remember, you are a catalyst for change, and your high frequency is a gift that has the potential to uplift and transform not only your life, but also the lives of those around you. 5. Kindness and Vulnerability Innocence and kindness are beautiful traits, but they often lead to being misunderstood or mistreated. In a world that doesn't always appreciate or reciprocate such kindness, maintaining a kind heart can be incredibly challenging. As a chosen one, your kindness and vulnerability are like beacons of light, but this light can sometimes attract those who wish to take advantage or who simply do not understand your pure intentions. Dolores Cannon emphasized the importance of staying true to one's kind and vulnerable nature, even when faced with adversity. This path is not easy. When your kindness is met with indifference or even hostility, it can lead to feelings of frustration and heartbreak. It's natural to feel disheartened when your genuine efforts to help or connect with others are misinterpreted or dismissed. However, it's essential to remember that your kindness is not a weakness, but a profound strength. Your ability to remain open-hearted and compassionate, despite the world's harshness, is a testament to your spiritual resilience. Each act of kindness, even if it goes unacknowledged, adds a little more light to the world and helps elevate the collective consciousness. Being kind in a world that often rewards the opposite can feel like an uphill battle. 
It's easy to become disillusioned and wonder if it's worth continuing to be kind when so many people seem unappreciative or unworthy of your efforts. But it's precisely during these moments of doubt that your true strength and purpose shine through. Your vulnerability allows you to connect deeply with others, even if they don't always respond in kind. It enables you to experience and express genuine emotions, fostering real, heartfelt connections with those who are capable of appreciating them. Over time, your consistent kindness and vulnerability will attract those who resonate with your energy, creating meaningful relationships built on mutual respect and understanding. It's also important to practice self-care and set healthy boundaries. Protecting your energy ensures that you can continue to be kind without becoming depleted. Surround yourself with people who support and uplift you, and don't be afraid to step back from those who drain your energy or take advantage of your kindness. Remember, your path as a chosen one is unique. The kindness and vulnerability you bring to the world are invaluable gifts. By staying true to your nature, you contribute to a more compassionate and understanding world, one small act of kindness at a time. And in doing so, you fulfill a higher purpose, inspiring others to open their hearts and embrace their own kindness and vulnerability. 6. The Concept of Decepticons In the journey of a chosen one, encountering Decepticons is almost inevitable. These are individuals who initially present themselves as kind, supportive, and well-meaning, but eventually reveal their true, malicious intentions. Much like the robots in popular culture who disguise themselves as allies, these people infiltrate your life, gaining your trust only to later exploit it. Dolores Cannon's teachings remind us that while these encounters can be disheartening, they are a part of the spiritual path. Decepticons can be particularly challenging because they exploit your kindness and vulnerability. They take advantage of your open-hearted nature, which can lead to feelings of betrayal and disillusionment. It's crucial to recognize that their actions are a reflection of their own insecurities and lack of spiritual alignment, not a reflection of your worth or goodness. Staying true to your path amidst these encounters is vital. Do not let the presence of such deceptive individuals harden your heart or change your nature. It can be tempting to close off and become guarded, but maintaining your authenticity and kindness is essential. These experiences, though painful, offer valuable lessons in discernment and resilience. Dolores Cannon often spoke about the importance of maintaining one's light despite external darkness. When faced with Decepticons, it's important to practice self-care and set strong boundaries. Protecting your energy from those who seek to drain it is not only necessary, but also empowering. Learn to trust your intuition. It often provides subtle warnings about those who do not have your best interests at heart. Remember, the presence of Decepticons in your life is not a failure on your part. Instead, it's an opportunity to grow stronger and more discerning. Each deceptive encounter strengthens your resolve and sharpens your ability to identify true allies. Surround yourself with people who genuinely support and uplift you, and don't be afraid to distance yourself from those who don't. In the grand scheme of your spiritual journey, these encounters are mere bumps on the road. They test your commitment to your path, but do not define it. By staying true to your kind and loving nature, you rise above their negativity and continue to elevate your frequency. This steadfastness not only protects your spirit, but also inspires others to remain genuine and kind, even in the face of deceit. 7. Embracing solitude and self-love chosen ones. It is essential to understand that solitude and self-love are not signs of loneliness or selfishness. Dolores Cannon emphasized the importance of self-care and introspection on the spiritual path. When you fully love yourself and enjoy your own company, you become less dependent on external validation. This inner strength and contentment can be intimidating to those who rely on external sources for their happiness. Embrace your solitude as a time of growth, reflection, and self-love. Spend this time exploring your passions, understanding your inner desires, and nurturing your soul. 
When you love yourself completely, you project an energy of confidence and fulfillment that can transform your life. It allows you to set healthy boundaries and recognize your worth. This self-assuredness can be a beacon for others, inspiring them to embark on their own journeys of self-discovery and self-love. Moreover, when you are content in your solitude, you attract others who appreciate and respect your individuality. Solitude is not an absence of company, but rather a profound companionship with your true self. This period of introspection and self-care is crucial for personal and spiritual growth. It helps you clear the noise of external opinions and tune into your inner voice. By doing so, you become more aligned with your true purpose and more resilient to life's challenges. Remember, the relationship you have with yourself sets the tone for every other relationship in your life. By embracing solitude and self-love, you create a solid foundation for a life filled with genuine connections and true happiness. 8. Demonstrating Authentic Connections Finally, let's talk about manifesting authentic connections. Dolores. Cannon's teachings remind us that like attracts like. By staying true to your authentic self and keeping your vibrations high, you will naturally attract people who align with your energy. Authentic connections are based on mutual respect, love, and understanding. They are free from the fragility and insecurities that plague less authentic relationships. To attract authentic connections, it is important to live in alignment with your true self. This means being honest about your values, passions, and boundaries. When you are genuine, you invite others to do the same. This authenticity creates a space for meaningful and deep connections that enrich your life. Authentic connections are marked by a sense of ease and mutual support. These relationships do not drain you, but rather uplift and inspire you. They are characterized by open communication, trust, and a shared vision for growth. Trust that the universe will bring the right people into your life at the right time. Continuing to be the light in your own life attracts those who are destined to walk this journey with you. These people will recognize and honor your worth, and together, you will create relationships that are fulfilling and empowering. Authentic connections help you grow and evolve, reinforcing your belief in the power of true, heartfelt relationships. By staying true to yourself, you not only enhance your own life, but also contribute positively to the lives of those around you. So, chosen ones, remember this. You are valuable, worthy, and deserving of genuine connections. Don't let the flakiness of others bring you down. Embrace your spiritual journey, set your boundaries, love yourself, and trust in the process. The teachings of Dolores Cannon provide a profound understanding of why some people act the way they do and how you can navigate these challenges with grace and strength. If you found value in this video, remember to like, comment, and subscribe to our Balanced Journey channel. Your support helps us continue sharing insightful content like this. Share your own experiences in the comments below. Let's engage and learn from each other's journeys. Together, we can create a community of support and understanding. Until next time, stay blessed, keep shining your light, and remember to subscribe for more enriching content.